I preached a full sermon today already, but the Lord said this to me for my personal life. Um, and then he told me to say it to you. He said, confront it or else it will confront you. Um, uh, there, there's this pastor that I used to listen to, and I listen to him periodically now, but the Lord says, choose it. But way back when, the Lord said to me, even when I started going to church online, he said, you need to choose the church, because I was watching it to me on a Sunday. And the Lord said, you need to uh, choose a church. And you need to choose a church to be submitted to, uh, to get involved in, to do all of this. And I said, okay. So I choose another church that I go to online that I consider as my home church. Um, but, but, um, but lately I've been visiting, just visiting this other church again and um i i didn't i didn't i didn't see um the senior pastor and i wondered what's wrong so i asked the, the lord i said i hope this person is okay he said he said well yes because this sermon series that he was preaching made him con Front some things physically, spiritually, emotionally that he was still ru running from because he, the Lord said he still did he he did the work that he was supposed to do but there were some things he was still running from and hiding from and that's when he said to me, what you don't confront, confronts you. So all of the, all of you guys who have been running from stuff and trying to hide from stuff and trying to hide from God and, and trying to wear yourself out, making people, um, um, making people believe that you are who you're not and running from yourself. If you don't confront things, it will confront you. What I mean by that is if you don't confront things, the, the Lord in his grace and his wisdom will cause the, that thing to confront you until you could until you confront it because the issues don't just go away issues if you don't deal with them they fester it's like cancer if you ignore them they fester and the first way you confront any issue is to admit that you have a problem when you admit that you have a problem, people can help you. And I want you to know this as well. There is nothing new under the sun. So whatever you're going through, somebody else is going through it too. And you don't have to be afraid that people will judge you or whatever. Because people's opinion of you is not as important as your mental, physical, financial health. You need help. And he's saying, you need to stop running from me. You need, you need to reach out for help. A few years ago, I was in real financial straits. And I didn't know what to do. Creditors were calling and I didn't know what to do. But it wasn't until I reached out for help. Um to a family member that I was able to uh, get financially free. And to this day, ever since that time, about 
three, four years ago, I have never had a problem like that financially. I've had my hills and valleys, but nothing like that. You need to stop running from God. Because you think the people around you can't see, but they can. They can see you're dying. They can see you're in trouble. And, but you keep pushing them away. Stop pushing the people that God sends you away. Stop pretending that people um, are, are only to, me, to mean you harm. Yes, some people do mean you harm, but God wants to bring good people that want to help you, good counseling that want to help you, a good therapist that want to help you. And, but your first step is to confront it and say, look, I got a problem here. Whether it's an addiction, whether it's a weight problem, whether it's financial, whether it's a health problem, because if you don't confront it, it will confront you. And when it's and when it does confront you, usually it's a it's a heck of a lot worse than it would have been if you would have confronted it. Because you can only hide problems for so long until they start showing up in a myriad of ways. Stop running. You're not perfect. It's okay. And the Lord is wanting to say today that there's freedom in Him. There's freedom from whatever you're going through. From whatever stress, there's freedom. And He wants to offer this. And He wants me to say, you're strong enough to go through and grow through this. You are strong enough to go through and go through this. You are strong enough to go through and grow through this. Thank you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Thank you for your words. Okay, guys, I'll see you soon. Oh, and I wanted to tell you that next week is going to... Next week on the 9th is going to be my last sermon of the year. After next week, I'm going to do my Christmas sermon, which will be uh, a story sermon kind of thing. Um... Uh, based on a modern take of The Little Drummer Boy next week. And that will be my last sermon for the year. I'll take a few Sundays off to spend time with family and to refresh myself. But I'll be back the first uh, um, week, Sunday in January. So next week, uh, the... The 9th, December 9th, will be my last sermon for December. And then I'll be back the first week of, J of January. So, tune in next week. Okay, guys? Bye. Take care.